Hi, my name is Udip Kumar Chatterjee. I'm a QA engineer working for QLogic Technologies. Today, we'll discuss a very important topic that is automation using Postman. This step-by-step -step video will give you detailed information on Postman tutorial for automation. It will run you through all the steps that you would require to automate API testing using Postman. Right from downloading Postman from Chrome to testing it for automation. Let us understand why automation and why specifically Postman. As we know, automation is the new norm across all sectors. Automation using Postman in testing can improve and increase the depth of and scope of test for a better software quality. This Postman tutorial will not only help you to understand the automated testing process, but also help you to run Postman in Chrome and introduce API automation to your daily QA process for executing your repeated test cases. This Postman tutorial will help you to create test suits, store information for running tests in different environments, store data for use in other tests, easily move tests and environments to code repositories. Now, let us understand the need for Postman automation. Postman automation is truly important while testing products with a large number of integrations and or frequent releases. It is the ultimate tool for API automation. The main objective of QA automation is to reduce the combined effort required for manually retesting for a product which is fairly high. Also, for removal of manual testing efforts that are invested in testing a set of functionalities repeatedly. For instance, agile practices like continuous builds, the amount of time taken to receive a feedback for a manual regression test is very high for the new code. API testing, also known as integration testing, focuses on verifying that the interaction of many small components can integrate together without issue. Since API tests bypass the user interface, they tend to be much quicker and much more maintainable than GUI tests. Therefore, a good QA team will make fairly accurate projections based on the backlog at hand and the general information about the project and its architecture and use automation for regression tests. So, if you are doing it in-house or opting for product outsourcing, Postman automation becomes increasingly important as it automates the entire testing process and saves valuable time and resources. Let us dive deeper and understand Postman. Postman, a Chrome app, is for interacting HTTP APIs. Postman allows us to automate test cases in JavaScript with salient features like writing test suits, build requests that can contain dynamic parameters and pass data between requests, etc. For validation of API on receiving a response, Postman validates the response as described in the test scripts. This is performed under test section. Most interesting part is a JSON response can be passed to an array and then the elements can be accessed by index and value or even be iterated. The main benefit of using Postman is that user does not need to create a full JSON request programmatically, unlike other automation API framework to put a cert on it. Postman beautifully designs them and helps users to define test cases. Tool dependency to get started. Postman, Node, Newman. Installing Postman from Chrome. Visit the website chrome.google.com slash webstore. Enter Postman in the search box. In the app section, Postman will be listed. Click on Add to Chrome. Once you click on Add to Chrome, Postman will be installed. Go to your app section. You will find your Postman app there. Now, let us talk about Newman. Newman is Postman's collection runner engine that sends API requests and receives the response and then runs your test against the response. It is like Postman's command line companion. It is extensible and so can be integrated into continuous integration servers and build systems. Benefits of Newman. Newman. It makes it easy to run a collection of tests using command line. Gives ability to run a collection of tests written in Postman right from within most build tools. And the last, it also allows to generate and store report directly from the command line. Please refer the link shown on screen to install Node with Newman. Let us now learn how to create test scripts using Postman. As we know, 
Postman allows you to write test scripts in test section. In our first test script, we'll see how to check our response data. Open Postman app and enter the URL. Here we have taken a sample API. Here for this API, we have chosen get method. There are various methods for each API. This is a get API. Now click on the test section below the URL. Here we have already written test cases. What you can do is you can copy paste below test script in the test section. Once done, click on the send button here. So as we see, above example includes four test cases. The first test case is for checking the response code of API. The pass condition for the test case should be 200. The second case is for validating any key or value as gob. The third case is validating for a value of key ID as 5 from JSON response. And the last one, the fourth case is for checking for any value of key blood as newman from JSON response. The API response body can be seen here below. To verify the test result, click on test result button. Here we can see the test result for all the four test cases mentioned. In this video, we are also going to cover variables. There are two types of variables, global and environment. Global variables, as for all collections, whereas the environment variables are defined for a specific set of collection as per the environment, which can be selected from a drop down or no environment can be selected. Once defined, variables can be used in request with format surrounded by curly brackets. The global variables are variables which can be consumed by any collection. So for any data that is accessible for all collections, we define them as global variables. The data defined for a specific environment is called environment variable. We can select any one environment at a time for a collection or no environment as per our choice. In Postman, at the top right section, click on the settings button. Now click on manage environments. All the existing environments will be listed under manage environments. To create a new environment, click on add button placed at the bottom. Here we can enter the environment name and provide the key value. To add a global variable, click on globals at the bottom of the screen. For setting any new variable, whether global or environment, we need to define the new key and value every time. Next topic is pre-request script. As the name suggests, it will run before the test. Postman allows user to perform specific JavaScript coding to manipulate the data being sent along with the request. We can write the scripts in the test section also, but it is a good practice to separate the test scripts in the pre-request section as it will be executed prior to the test scripts. Here, we can set global and environment variable dynamically as well. Refer the image shown on the screen for the execution flow. Enter the code in the pre-request script section. Select an environment from the drop-down located at the top right section of the screen. Here we have selected already created environment. Click on send button. Now go to the global and environment variable section. This is our environment variable. Here we see that the key has been set dynamically by the script for the environment variable. Let us go and check for the global. This is how we can set the keys dynamically using the script. Let's see how to feed test data from CSV and variable. As we know, predetermined value, that is hard-coded value, is never a good practice and will be a pain when the number of test cases are increasing day by day. It will be a nightmare to maintain test scripts 
when your test starts failing due to structural or data changes. Refer the link shown on screen for getting data from CSV. For getting data from global and environment variable, use the link shown on the screen. Earlier in this video, we have already covered Newman installation and configuration. Now, once the test cases are built, we need to pass it to Newman to run the scripts from the command line. The basic idea of running this test using command line is that we can pass them to Jenkins further, which in return will run the test case periodically. Now, to run the test cases in Newman, we need to export the test scripts and other information like URL, headers, etc. from Postman in JSON format. Steps to export JSON for Newman. In Postman, under collection section, select the required collection. Here, we created test demo. Click on export as shown on the screen. Select collection V2. Click on export. Save this JSON. Now we need to export global and environment variable if the script is consuming them. Let us see steps to export JSON of global and environment variables. In Postman, click on the settings located at the top right section. Click on manage environments. Now click on the download icon placed against the environment name. Note, save the JSON on the same location where the collection was saved. Now to download global variables, click on globals button placed at the bottom of the screen. Click on download as JSON. Again, save the JSON on the same location as others. Now, we have all the JSON file required to run our test cases in Newman. The collection JSON contains all our test scripts, URL, header, prerequisite scripts, etc. except variables. The other two JSON file contains our key and value respectively. Now, it's time to run our test cases from command line. Open CMD. Now, read to the folder where your JSONs are saved. enter the command as shown on the screen. In the command, E represents environment variable, G represents global, D here represents the demo data that is an external data which we pass through CSV. As in our current example we are not using it, we will be removing it. Reporters here uh, represents the output as console. Since we are not using them, we will be removing them. Note, here replace the respective file name in the command. As I have used test demo as my in collection name and test demo env as my environment name, I have changed them. Click on enter. As soon as the execution is completed, new men will create an execution report. Before you jump into Postman automation, keep these practices in mind. First, use trim function if the data is retrieved as string from the CSV file. Second, add your pre-request data in the pre-request script section. Third, use Chrome Dev Console for debugging. And the last one. Always check the length of an array for a test case. It will safeguard the script from failing due to JavaScript exception. By now, you know that Postman is an extremely important tool. My top four reasons to use Postman are if API is updated and test is run in Postman, 
it gives the indication of failure. The API can then be updated for correct results. Second, Postman can be used for performance testing of API. Third, it can be used to perform load testing at scheduled time and record the status. And the last one, as the APIs are automated using Postman, there is a very less human involvement. I hope that this video was useful. Try it out to get a strong hold on APIs. If you have any questions, please mention in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them ASAP. Also, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.